In this video, I'll show you how to run Android apps on PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end to the full steps for this guide. And without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. The first thing to do if you want to go and run Android apps on your PC is go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, so I'm going to go and open up my browser now. So once you're on a search engine, then all you want to do is go and search for a program called Bluestacks. Even though you now know the name, do keep watching and showing the four steps using this and then going and getting Android apps in there. So make sure you come and search for Bluestacks and make sure you come to the official website, which is bluestacks.com. Then all you want to do is go and click here. So as you can see, this is an Android emulator, so it's going to allow you to run the Android apps on your computer. And all you want to do is make sure you go and click on download Bluestacks just here. And it's going to go and drop the download for the emulator, so let's go and install this. So simply go and click on it, and then we're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, my computer doesn't go and record that. Then all you want to do is go and click on install now, and it's going to go and start the download. There's going to be a few downloads, so let's just go and wait for this to finish. It may go and do a few other downloads as well. As you can see, it's now started the next one. Then once it's finished downloading, you're gonna go and get this pop-up here saying checking system requirements, and then it's gonna go and start the process of extracting the files. So we'll have to wait again for this, and I'll catch up with you once it's finished. And once Bluestacks has finished installing, it's then gonna go and start starting up. As you can see here, it is saying starting Bluestacks. And there we go, Bluestacks has now gone and finished loading, and we're now taken to our home screen. So as you can see, this is literally like a normal Android device and we can use our mouse and keyboard as the inputs so the first thing you want to do is of course you want to go and run some apps so we want to go and open up the Google Play Store so go and open that up there and all you need to do is go and log into your Google account because obviously it's the Google Play Store you're gonna need a Google account so once you've signed in it's then gonna take you to the normal Play Store and we can go and search for the apps we'd like so in this example I'm using Kindmaster I actually did this on a previous video um, we're gonna use Kindmaster which is basically an editing software for Android devices and mobile devices devices in general but of course you can go and search for any Android app you would like then all you want to do is go and click on the download button and then it's going to go and start the downloading and installation process and then wait for that to go and finish then once that's finished all you want to do is come back to your home screen either by clicking in the home button in the bottom right or in the top bar and it's going to take him back to your home screen and then it's going to be a normal application so go and click on it and it's going to go and open your app up now if you're having any issues with performance or anything like that then all you want to do is go and click on the settings cog and there's a few different settings we can go and change then in performance we've got these options here and we can go and increase our performance for example you can go and increase your cpu allocation and give it more cores as you can see i'm using one cpu core as it's limited to that but i can increase that in the future and you want to go and give it more memory and that is how you can go and run android apps on your pc 